Hey guys, so it's Saturday. Um, so today in Baden, we've got a winter festival going on, and um, I was afraid I was going to miss most of it because I was supposed to work today. Fortunately, my landlady came by and said we decided to cancel. They had to, I think they said they were going to Salisbury for some kind of church thing or something like that. So I was going to have to watch June, but they decided to cancel maybe because of the weather, maybe one of them's not feeling great, whatever. But they let me know, and I'm like, okay, well, that gives me a little bit of time. A, a little bit of time. I mean, the, the festival here is from like 12 o'clock to 8, so I have more than enough time. It's only uh, 4 o'clock. Uh, the tree lighting is at like 6.30. I might go out for that and record that, but um, probably not. You know, it's it's all nasty out today. It's like hot and muggy. And... But it's a winter festival, which... Christmas, you know, the like the biggest fucking holiday of the year, and there's no one down there really. Now we had a Celtic festival like two years in a row. We had it, and it was packed. Like every part of the street was filled with people. There were stand, and it, it it was packed. So how is it we can get that much of a turnout for a Celtic festival, but we can't get? And it has nothing to do with the weather. I remember going down to the Celtic festival, and they were setting up, and it was fucking raining. It was fucking raining and it was raining most of the day and people it was still packed like and when i say packed it probably a thousand people or more you go down there there's like maybe 50 people at most so how is it the celtic festival gathering more people than a christmas winter festival but i went down had to get uh, to dollar general had to get some stuff and uh yeah i was like this is also, it was like cold in my room, and then I go outside, it's like nasty and hot. I'm like, how the fuck does that work? How is it cold in here, but hot out here? Makes no fucking, the, the weather just makes no fucking sense anymore. But, um, yeah, it was just, it's just dead over there. And I'm like, is it really worth coming over here for, uh, fucking, uh, tree lighting? I mean, I'll do what I normally do, because there are people who don't bother looking at my channel, uh, like old videos. So I like to go around, show like Main Street, uh, and then there's this lit up, uh, down the road, there's like this lit up area that uh, someone does in front of their house. They got a really nice bit of decoration, so I might do that. I think the last time I did it was snowing, like there was actually like ice on the ground and shit like that, so. But, um... Yeah, I just Yeah, it was been dark and it was rainy most of the day and it doesn't feel very good out right now. It just it felt great when I like not great, but it felt fine when I left. Like I had my jacket on and then as I'm walking back I'm like, "Okay, it's fucking hot. It's fucking hot." Like the weather here doesn't know what the fuck it wants to do. I'm I'm quite frankly sick of it. Um, <clears throat> what is it right now? No, that's not what I want. It says it's 61, but it's humid, so it, it feels hotter than that. So. Okay, whatever, close. Fucking go. Like, Wednesday, next Wednesday and Thursday, Friday. 70... 73 and 66 what the fuck we should be well past the fucking 60s we should be down in the 50s and 40s at this point but no here we are still in the fucking 70s and and then people wonder why I'm, I'm, I'm sick you know and other people i know same thing it's like the weather doesn't know what it's doing and people are getting sick because one week it's completely cold, and then the next week we're in the fucking 70s, and then we're cold again, and then the next day it's hot. It, it just doesn't... So, I can't imagine why I'm fucking sick. So what was it, yesterday? What was it? Yeah, yesterday, Friday, right? I don't know what, was his, what his problem was. But I opened the door, you know, I was, I was opening the back door and Miko came running in. He was the happiest I've ever seen him. 
like it was happy meows he jumped up onto the table right there on the you know by on the side of the door and he was just rolling around having a good time he followed me went up to the front of the house and i'm surprised every time he comes in or actually both i let both him and kaya come in and sam he's perfectly fine with them like venti he would try killing venti but he, he he doesn't do anything with those two maybe because he knows that they're still babies even though they're not really baby babies um they're still like what six seven months so they're not babies they're technically adults at this point but he, he you know miko's able to sniff him and headbutt him and sam doesn't care um but miko followed me <clears throat> into the, the kitchen and jumped up on my roommate's desk and rolling around and i'm like huh it seems like you've done this before um but he was just having a good time or something it's just like the happiest i've seen him he had so much energy i mean obviously he got to see his favorite grandpa so i mean uh today lucifer has been hanging out most of the day i've been looking outside and there he is just kind of sleeping on the porch probably because of the rain but yeah he's been sleeping out there most of the day which is weird because he he barely come like he doesn't come around like that like he'll come around but he doesn't like sleep around here he'll like be in the front of the house or wherever lucifer is during the day but yeah miko is just as happy as can be i'm like miko what is wrong are you dying Oh, wait, no, it not it wasn't yesterday. It was, it was Thursday cuz I remember I remember saying something it to, about it to my um my landlady's sister about I remember saying that are you dying? Because it's like what are you you're being so happy and playful and sweet and everything. It's like are are, are you dying or something? Yeah, it was Thursday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I was like, "Miko, what is wrong with you today?" But, um, and then Thursday I get home and later on in the day, <clears throat> actually, where's my, hang on. All right. I got a text from my boss the other day. So there are two different kinds of materials added to bailing lint in bags and another and another material. So in addition to the cardboard and the lab and the luchador and the plastic and the carpet and the tubes, now I have two more fucking things to add to the mix. And then when it doesn't get done, I'm going to be the one who gets bitched at. Those boxes that they've been bringing down, the really big ones, those are already hard enough to fucking take care of. Those are already fucking hard enough because they take so fucking long to do. You know, they're when they're a smaller stack, they're easier. They're, they're but when they're, you know, piled up and then it's like, okay, well, I can only fit so much in, so I better move this pile out of the way and get another one started or something or add to this or. Also, I don't do it, but there's also the yarn, which Kevin does the yarn, which I want to be fucking surprised if they said, oh, you can just start doing yarn too, because I used to. I used to do the yarn all the time when I was uh, the first and second time I was there. But it's just more fucking shit added on. More fucking shit. It's almost like they're testing to see how much I'll take before I just leave. Which for her, I don't think that'd be a good idea. And I don't think that's the case because if I leave, they'd be fucked. They don't have a bailer who can out bail me. So... They don't have anyone who can do nearly as much as I can. So they, they, they'd be fucked over. So to say that they're trying to get rid of me, I, I doubt that. But they are really testing my fucking patience. Now you have two more things to add. Oh, boy. And I knew it all the other day. I went down, I was walking past, and I saw the, these pallets with, uh, like, cloth or whatever. I'm like, no. You better not tell me that I'm fucking bailing this shit, too. No. So why are we bailing lint? Why don't you just fucking get rid of that shit? 
Lint? Why? But why? Like, why are we bailing Lint? Yeah, so, yeah, two more things have been added to the already long laundry list of fucking shit that I have to do down there. So now the area is going to look more like shit. It's like, oh, no, you can't put it in the main baler. You have to put it in the tube baler. I mean, that's what I assumed because I saw it down there at the tube baler. I'm like, great. So the tube baler just isn't for tubes anymore, is it? But. Yeah. I also need to tell the fucking higher ups that I have a second job because apparently none of them know. That's how she was able to fucking get me to come to work because she was like, oh, they, they will get mad. They want it done. Well, they should know that I have a second job, but apparently they don't. Because if they knew I had a second job, they wouldn't be forcing me to come in on my day off. Because they know how fucked up that would be. But. The, the place is just one shit show after another. But at least I've got. Uh, let's see. Uh, about a week and a half. About two weeks. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, about two and a half weeks um, for my break, which I'm really looking forward to. Apparently, like I said, she's apparently going to Colorado with her brother. And the only days I'm going to have to work are Tuesdays and Thursdays for uh, with June. So like two weeks off, four days total working. Uh, so it's going to be nice. But. Yeah, I just, I, I I just want a normal job. I really do. And when I say normal, I don't mean like a fucking cashier. No, I want a job where I don't have to go above and beyond because that's what I do. That's what I have to do because I don't have a fucking choice. So I just want to be able to go in, do my job, and not have to worry about more stuff being brought down. Uh, more stuff being added on, having to stop one bailer to have to go do another. I just, let me just do my fucking job. Because when I first started, people don't know that two bailer was what I was hired for. And then now suddenly I'm in charge of them both. And then when they both don't get done, I get bitched at. It's like, well, why don't you fucking hire more people? You're so concerned about the fucking bathrooms and shit being done when it's down here that the shit doesn't get done, and then your bosses are complaining at you. So why not hire more help down here? I mean, we used to. Richard used to he used to cut the tubes. He used to bail the tubes. And when he didn't feel like cutting tubes, he came over and he helped me. And when I got done with stuff, I went over and helped him. And it worked nicely. So. But yeah, two more fucking things added. Oh boy. Anyways, moral of the story, Winter Festival turned out to be a failure. There's hardly anyone even fucking down there. And yet the Celtic Festival brought in hundreds of thousands, like, like a thousand people or more. Probably not a thousand. It's a small area, so it looked like a thousand, but maybe a couple hundred. But that was the Celtic Festival. This is a Winter Festival, and there's like 50 fucking people there. Anyway, that's going to do it for me. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.